So today we're talking about director's monitoring setup. So we're actually gonna break down this rig that I use for my client gigs and explain to you why exactly you might need to add this into your workflow. Now the core of this rig and the monitor that I've chosen to use is the Atomos Shinobi 7. Now truthfully, the main reason why I wanted to pick up the Atomos Shinobi 7 is to keep it pretty consistent from the monitors that I already have. On the Atomos Shinobi 7, you have things like being able to load your LUTs, you have frame guides in case you want to put your vertical and horizontal content in the same shot. Now what's cool about this is that you get that extra real estate in a 7 inch monitor, but you also get HDMI in and out and SDI. And for those of you guys that are new, I'm a Sony FX6 user, and I actually use the SEI connection in my camera for more stability and overall just a more reliable connection. Now the wireless transition system that I'm actually using to connect from my monitor into my camera is the Axoon Cineview. Now it does have a couple of cool features, but some things that I like the most about it is when you pick up the SE version, you could actually connect to SDI, which I use on my Sony FX6. It also has an HDMI port in it as well. Now the Axoon Cineview does use Sony MPF batteries, which as a Sony user, I have a lot of. But what I also like about this as well is that they're fairly easy to set up. Now there's a single dial on the transmitter and the receiver, and essentially to set this guy up to monitor right away, I basically turn the dial so the corresponding numbers match up, and once I turned it on, they found each other pretty quickly. Which means that for workflows, especially if you're working with different clients, it doesn't take a lot to actually set these guys up and to start using it right away. Now to hold all of this together, I actually decided to go away from the DIY route. Now a lot of people use DIY setups for the director's monitor, but I actually purchased the Nitsi's director monitor cage with handles that came with it. Now what's cool about this is not only that it has a cage that's fit for five and seven inch monitors, but you also have the Ari Rosette handles that are incredibly comfortable, especially when they're in the hands of a focus puller or maybe even one of your clients, but it also has a plate on the back that I can mount on my small rig V-mount plate that I can attach the battery to power the entire system. It also has cold shoe attachments that I could put onto the cage itself in order to house the Axiom Cine View and any other wireless transmitter that would use something like a cold shoe mount in order to get it on the cage. Now speaking of powering this kit, it actually is the FX Lion Nano 2 battery and for a very particular reason. Now I tried to use this on my newer V-mount batteries and it just wasn't working because the D-tap and the USB were too close to each other to get them both to fit at the same time. Now what's cool about the FX Lion battery is not only is it obviously a V-mount battery with D-tap attachments, but you could also connect a USB-A or USB-C connection onto the battery itself. Now the reason why I picked this over the newer battery was that the outlets to those connections were on different sides of the battery, which means they didn't come too close together and I was able to get the attachments to power my receiver and on my monitor separately, but using the same power source at the same time. Now what I will say is going into something like a wireless transmission system or director's monitoring setup, it's not cheap and it can actually get pretty expensive for exactly what it is. It's not something that increases the image quality, but it does do a couple of things that come in handy. Now, number one, if you're somebody that's getting into cinema cameras and cinema lenses, you'll find that things are going to be a little bit more manual. You're going to have to manual focus on your cinema lenses, which means you might want to consider hiring a focus puller. Now what focus pullers basically do is they hook up to a monitor and they're helping you pull your focus for you. Now that's something I don't necessarily use all of the time. I have a lot of auto focusing lenses and I work in a small crew, but the second and main reason why I picked up this director's monitoring system to add into my workflow is honestly because it looks cool. Hear me out. So a lot of times as freelance filmmakers or freelance video creators, we do a lot of things low key selfishly. We make sure that we have the best lighting, the best lenses, the best cameras. So our image looks good and we look good, whether it be on social media or YouTube, and ultimately, yes, our client. But something that we might overlook is the actual client experience itself. And investing in different things to build rapport with your clients, especially as you're growing as a freelance creator, a freelance filmmaker, or anybody else in video production. Now again, I'll admit, having a director's monitor system isn't the most essential thing for your workflow. But there's something about handing your client a monitoring system and giving them the option to see the shots that you're getting in real time without having to look over your shoulder. And I don't know about you, but in the last two years, I don't like having people that close to me all the time. If there is something that I can invest in to give my clients a better experience, which means I'm gonna get recommended for that next job, or I'm actually gonna get that call back with bigger budgets, then I'm willing to take that risk and invest into the gear to help me look better, especially because video production and filmmaking, honestly, these days is incredibly competitive. And you need things that give you that extra factor that sets you apart from the rest. 
In fact, I actually used a wireless monitoring setup on a couple of different gigs. And by having that positive client experience and building that rapport, the recommendations started to pile up and I actually landed my biggest client yet. It's a gigantic tech company that you're probably familiar with and an athlete that you guys have probably seen on TV, especially if you live in Toronto. But I gotta save that for another video. That being said, everything in this video is mentioned in links down in the description down below. And if you guys are looking to upgrade yourselves and upgrade your client experience, you might wanna consider a wireless monitoring system to add into your workflow.